this new media landscape has produced a hurricane of misinformation. How do you deal with that? This is also where we have to become known as the, the purveyors of truth. Look, we live in a world where people gravitate towards their point of view. Well, who are we? We are, we are journalists, we are unbiased, we are seeking the truth. You serious, 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 serious. Duval County Public Schools, which includes Jacksonville, said it would conduct a formal review of all books. While that review is ongoing, classrooms and school libraries look like this. Except none of that's true, and that video is highly misleading. That was the president of CBS News claiming that they're unbiased and have no agenda. <laughs> Obviously that's a lie, because if they were, then they would have vetted this video that they're now spreading, which is supposed to show that Ron DeSantis is a horrible human being and has now banned all the books in school libraries. I'll show you that clip and why it's misleading right after this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Noble Gold Investments is pleased to let you know that gold is the best investment class of 2022. According to longtermtrends.net, gold has actually outperformed the S&P 500, Dow, and Bitcoin for 2022. So what are you waiting for? Open a gold or silver IRA with Noble Gold Investments this month and receive a free one quarter ounce American Gold Eagle coin with every qualified IRA of $50,000. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold and their thousands of five-star reviews. So call 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. And remember, there's always risk in investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. Jacksonville teacher Andrea Phillips specializes in helping third graders who struggle to read. Without a diverse variety of books that represent my students, I can't get them interested in books. She apparently thinks she can only teach them to read if she can show them porn or indoctrinate them with far left Marxist cult beliefs. Here's my book prison. In January, as the state celebrated Literacy Week in schools, Phillips says she was told to pack up her classroom library. We were being directed until all books could be vetted and we w could be sure that we were in compliance with the state laws. Duval County Public Schools, which includes Jacksonville, said it would conduct a formal review of all books. While that review is ongoing, classrooms and school libraries look like this. That's it. That's it. I can't take it. I can't take it anymore. You're a thief. You're a liar. Unsurprisingly, the video that was spread by CBS News turns out to be misleading. According to the district, principals were told to review the books available, but some of them went way overboard and others are clearly performing political theater. In discussion between the district and ESS regarding this individual's misrepresentation of the books available to students in the school's library and the disruption this misrepresentation has caused, it was determined that he had violated social media and cell phone policies of his employer. Therefore, ESS determined these policy violations and made it necessary to part ways with this individual. Yeah! They've come for teachers over masks. They've come for teachers over books. Teachers have been called groomers. Lady, you literally want to show young children pornography. And frankly, I'm tired of hearing them complain about being called groomers because they are the first ones to jump to racist, white supremacist, extremist, or whatever label they can throw at you to shut you up. Not to mention the whole mask thing blowing up in your face. Protesters marched on the state capitol this week in response to DeSantis's rejection of AP African American oh Studies courses in Florida's public schools. The Republican governor has also championed an education reform law that has led to books being pulled from classrooms rooms and school libraries. It's a total fabrication. Now you might be saying, but drone tech, you f fascist, your Fuhrer Ron DeSantis is still banning books. None of these books are banned. They can still be purchased outside of school or checked out from public libraries. Just like you're not going to be able to find books about intelligent design in school libraries, but I know it's completely different. This only applies to schools. And let me be very, very clear about the kinds of books we're talking about here. Because our media purposely never shows the pornographic content like in Florida's public school districts where they had books 
books in K through third grade libraries depicting things I don't even want to say on this channel. Check out the video's description for a link to Libs of TikTok's report. In regards to the supposed AP African American Studies class being banned, <laughs> that's also a complete lie. The AP African American Studies class still exists, but minus the unsubstantiated and even outright racist far left Marxist bits. For example, this was in a Florida third grader's elementary school class. Scoop, a Cupertino elementary school forces third graders to deconstruct their racial and sexual identities, then rank themselves according to their power and privilege. First, the teacher told the eight and nine year old students that they live in a dominant culture of white middle class, cisgender educated, able bodied Christians who created and maintain this culture in order to hold power and stay in power. Reading from this book is anti-racist. The teacher taught the children the theory of intersectionality and claimed that those with privilege have power over others. Folks who do not benefit from their social identities have little to no privilege and power. What's up? Can I get two slices of pepperoni? <laughs> This is critical race theory in application, a curriculum that enforces the beliefs within critical race theory. This is just one example, but if you go to the video's description, I'm going to send you down a rabbit hole of what is pretty plainly an anti-white racist movement that has somehow infested every institution. Right now, I know some of you are like, Drone Tech, you're just crazy and also racist. But just ask yourselves, would a class like this ever exist called AP European American Studies, which taught that Jewish people or black people had power and privilege over others, which they used to benefit from and hold you down. And that the only way to rectify this was to burn the whole system down. Of course not, because they would call it what it is. Anti-Semitic conspiracy theories and tropes. That's exactly what CRT is. Repurposed anti-Semitic conspiracy theories and tropes, but for the whites. That's exactly why people like Chris Rufo and Ron DeSantis are pushing back and having a lot of success because people know racism when they see it and others just rationalize to themselves that it's somehow different when they do it all right folks that's all i can stand for that one but i appreciate you watching if you enjoyed it please hit that like button share subscribe make sure to hit that bell notification and leave a comment to vent some frustrations thanks a lot i'll see you all in the next one